Dr. Karen Avetisyan. For more information about me and my services, you can visit my website at beekeepingservices.com. This website is mentioned in the description part as well. You can leave your questions in the comment section and I'll return them in my future videos. You can also subscribe to my channel to have daily videos on beekeeping. Today I want to talk about honeydew honey, where it comes from, what's its effect on our organism and bees, how to supersede this honey and how to identify this honey. Honeydew honey is the honey which comes mainly from excretions of plant sucking insects on the living parts of the plants or secretion of living parts of plants. Unlike regular honey, which the bees produce from the collected flower blossom, honeydew honey is a product derived by the plant sucking insects and bees. Honeydew honey is one of the most exotic and nutritious foods in the world known for its powerful therapeutic properties. In the world market, usually this honey is more expensive than honey made from nectar. While the aphids parasite on the oak's leaves or other trees where they live, they perforate the leaves to suck the sap from them. Once ingested, the sap goes through the digestive system of the aphids where it's enriched with enzymes and released by the rear end of the aphid back onto the leaf. The released substance is called honeydew, a sticky, sweet and rich in vitamins and minerals liquid the bees love to feed with. The bees take honeydew and process it as they do to make honey. Unlike other types of honey, honeydew honey has a very dark amber color and that is why it's sometimes called black forest too. Honeydew honey is not considered good winter feed for bees because it can be quite high in ash, a primary cause of honeybee dysentery. Beekeepers often remove honeydew honey from their hives before the onset of winter. The amount of honeydew in your honey depends on the plant species that live nearby, the climate and the local weather. If floral nectar is plentiful all year long, honeydew collection will remain insignificant. In some regions, however, such as Germany and Northern California, honeydew honey is quite common. Like floral honey, honeydew honey varies remarkably with its source. Its flavor, color, sweetness, consistency, nutrient content, and tendency to granulate are dependent both on the plant and the insect that collected it. Plants that produce the sap that feeds the insects are mostly trees. Certain species of ash, basswood, beech, cedar, chestnut, elm, fir, hickory, larch, maple, oak, pine, poplar, spruce, sycamore, and willow produce honeydew, as does black locust. A few forbs produce honeydew as well, including alfalfa, cotton, currants, grapes, gooseberries, and sunflowers. How to check if there is honeydew honey in your hives? You can do it by applying alcohol reaction method at home. Take 50 gram honey and dissolve it in 50 gram water. Pour the solution into one pint of 96 degree alcohol. If there is honeydew honey, you will see significant turbidity as proteins get separated during the reaction. This reaction is not considerable for buckwheat, cranberry, arbutus, banksia, erica, leptospermum, melaleuca, eucalyptus, and tilia honeys as well as their blends. If the reaction is positive, you would need to supersede the honeydew honey to natural honey or sugar syrup. According to Codex Alimentarius standard, glucose and fructose content for honeydew honey must be not less than 45 gram for per 100 gram, whereas for the blossom honey, it is not less than 60 gram for per 100 gram. The electrical conductivity of honey is very widely used for discrimination between honeydew and blossom honeys. 
The conductivity measurement is easy and fast and needs only inexpensive instrumentation. The electrical conductivity of honey is limited by the Codex Alimentarius standard to be not more than 0.8 millisiemens centimeter for blossom honey and for honeydew honey not less than 0.8 millisiemens centimeter. Another method to understand the honeydew honey is optic rotation. Honey has the property to rotate the polarization plane of polarized light. This depends largely on types and relative proportions of sugars in honey. Each sugar has a specific effect and the total optic rotation is dependent on concentration. Floral honeys are laboratory and honeydew or adulterated floral honeys are usually dextrorotary. Honeydew honeys show positive optical rotations, while in nectar honey the optical rotation is negative. This is caused by opposed optical rotations of fructose and glucose or sucrose, which add up in concentration-dependent manner. Beekeepers should check honeydew honey and organize feeding by 15th of September or by the time of the year when it is warm enough outside and winter is about two months to come. This should be done to avoid fermentation of syrup in hives because of cool weather. The therapeutic qualities of honeydew honey lie in its rich content of microelements that have passed through the digestive tract of the aphids and then the bees. Double filtered, this substance is perfectly absorbable by human organism and is rich in minerals, iron, calcium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, phosphorus. It has a wonderful healing effect for conditions related to muscle weakness, anemia, bone disorder, anorexia, and more. It does a perfect job in lowering the blood pressure, stimulating the blood circulation, and strengthening the heart. It has an anti-tumor effect due to high amount of antioxidants. Honeydew honey is also good for the respiratory organs, cures virus and flu infections. In short, is the perfect booster and healer for our organism. That is all for today. I hope this information was helpful for you to know and therefore you know already what to do with honeydew honey. I think this is especially good information for beginner beekeepers. Thanks for watching. Oh,